All right, we're going to try another free body diagram. Again, it's a person pulling a box, but this time they're taller. They're going to be pulling the box up at an angle. Okay, so it'll be a little bit different, but we're going to go through the exact same process. I like to draw my free body diagrams as a square. First question we said, is there gravity? Obviously there will be, so we'll draw FG. Second question, is the box resting on a surface? Sure it is. So we'll draw FN. Third question, is there an applied force? Yes, the person's pulling a rope, so we'll draw applied force FA. This angle, I'm just going to go ahead and label it theta. Is there friction? Again, I'm sure you hopefully understand there would be certainly friction, and it will be in this direction, against the direction of motion. If the box is accelerating, it's going to be accelerating in this direction. So that's fine, I've got my free body diagram. I'm going to go ahead and call the x direction the direction of acceleration. And that's what I always do, so that the y direction, the acceleration will always be zero. Okay. Now that I've got my free body diagram, everything, all the forces on the diagram are already in the y and x direction with the exception of FA. So I'm going to take FA and I'm going to break him into components. I'm going to call them Fx and Fy. Just like that. Some of you might want to draw Fy coming over here so you don't forget about it later. And that's okay. So just like before, last, uh, just like last time, we're going to break them into the x and y components and do Newton's second law. So in the x direction, what does Newton's second law tell us? All the forces add up to ma. So Fx is in the positive direction. Ff is in the negative direction. And those are the only x direction forces so they add up to MA. In the Y direction, in the Y direction we have three forces now. It's important you remember that we have three. So FN is still positive. FN minus FG. And FY is also up, so therefore it's positive. Plus FY is equal to zero because the box is not lifting up off the ground, nor is it sinking into the ground. If I take a second and look at this, it's pretty evident that Fn is not equal to Fg. Fn is equal to Fg minus Fy. Fn is going to have to be smaller than Fg. Okay? If I look at my diagram, I've got them drawn almost the same size. Whereas really, the Fn and the Fy should be the same size as Fg. So I'm just going to go ahead and make Fn a little smaller, the idea being that the two should be the same length as Fn put together. I didn't memorize that. I used Newton's second law to figure it out. And I definitely did not assume that Fn and Fg would be the same, even though they often are. In this case, they're definitely not.